Well, here we go again. Another wood pile build. We're gonna do a happy face uh, wood pile. This one's gonna be higher and uh, more rounder and better. Traffic is busy. I've got, I'm out at the front yard here, right beside my rocket there. This will be the last uh, wood pile build of 2024. Stay tuned. Day one is over, and we're about four feet high. Got the center full of uh, bigger pieces, but not so nice pieces. Good woods on the outside and soft woods on the inside. Day one down. Got all my uh, scaffolding pieces in, and I've uh, secured them all together with a rope. That'll kind of help uh, keep everything in place over time. I'm gonna throw those big chunks there. Put some weight on those. And then I'm gonna make my scaffolding go around it so I can go up higher. I'm across the road at my neighbor's property. I told him he had some dead ash at the back in here and I asked him if I could have it and he said, yeah. He said, I got one there and one there. Not a lot of wood, but anyways, uh, my wood pile needs more wood and uh, we're gonna cut those down. Got the one down, nice clean fall. Got it marked already, just with a tape measure and a spray can. I'm gonna rip that up next. That one there, I thought it was alive. You see the green there, but it's not. There are vines going up there. At first I thought it was a live tree, but it's dead. That'll be the next one. Got that one all bucked up. And we drop that one down. Nice clean fall. Fair bit of wood on that. I forgot to bring my tripod or I would have set the camera up and not cut it anyway. Bit of wood in there. Oh, we'll start cutting. Got that all bucked up. Got loaded in the truck. And then I'm gonna drive over where I dropped that tree. Got my splitter set up and I'm gonna start uh, Splitting it there. Well, we're all set up here. I got my table on my uh, splitter all loaded up. But this is, uh, this is the other tree I knocked down. Got more to cut up yet. But uh, we're going to stop for coffee and then get at her. Well, I just split all that wood that was on the table. And that's how much wood that was on the splitter. Now I'm going to take that wood and... Load my table back up again and do some more. Well, we got her loaded up again. Don't know if I can get any more wood on there, but uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Well, that's all I'm putting in uh, in there. That's heavy enough. I'm going to come back and take the splitter home. And then I'm going to finish cutting that up. Then I'll come back and get the rounds. Well, there's the wood I got next door. I ended up by finding uh, some other wood down there. Probably about a face quarter wood. So uh, next weekend, then I'll go higher up with that. I got to a point where I had to stop. So last year I made some uh, wooden boxes out of two by sixes. I like to have some flowers in there to kind of dress it up a little bit. But this year I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna make some big rounds. And then I'm going to cut the centers out of them. And I'm going to make them uh, into glasses. So that's coming up next. Stay tuned.
we got our wood rounds in. We're at about seven feet. We got the rest of that wood in there, that the ash. Get in there. Put more in the middle. Next video, we'll have this thing finished.